gorgeous souls welcome i'm eljana angelica bringing you messages of light in this video we're gonna see what blessings are coming to you this week the blessings that will help you throughout next year 2023 so you know the drill pick the pick the group that you are most attracted to the one that's calling out to you so here we have group one group two and group three pick the group that you are most drawn to and then you can look for the timestamp of your chosen group in the description section down below this is going to be a really quick reading we're going to get straight to the point to see what you need to know what's coming your way this week Hi group one, welcome. So group one, let's look at the blessings coming your way. We have a blessing on your family and a blessing for those who are nearing their final breath. So this to me feels like there is a change happening here. There are some transitions happening um, in your family, but this is not just your immediate blood family this is connected to your soul family you know so friends who are like family as well the tribe your soul tribe so there is a change happening here for some yes there's someone who um, has been unwell or you know old age and they're crossing over and they're going and they're going in a very peaceful manner so there's that peace there but for most of us this is an energy where there is a rebirth happening within your connection. So there is an end of karmic cycles, you know, between you and your soul family, between you and your soulmates. This end of a difficult karmic cycles. Um, there's going to be a lot of healing coming through your connections. So here we have, as you can see, friendship. Okay, so it is your friendship circle, your soul tribe, your soulmates, okay, our family who are like friends or friends who are like family. There's a change happening here. There is a transformation happening within your, your relationships. And through that, there's going to be a lot of healing. Okay, there's a lot of healing coming in. For some of you, you are healing the current connections, any fallouts, there is a healing happening there. It's like whatever that needed to happen has happened and now you can heal. Okay, you can heal from that. Um, for others, it is about you healing your heart because you are finding, you're getting in touch and you're finding connections, you know, finding your soul tribe. So some of you in group one, I feel like you have been feeling quite lonely for a little bit. So now that um, this energy has changed, you are going to find your soul tribe, okay, so you're not going to feel alone anymore, you're going to meet people who you realize are, you know, who are just like you, who are, you know, aligned to the same vibration frequency as you, who come from the same previous dimensions, dimensions that like you, or, you know, those that have, um, had many lives with you before, okay, so a lot of you are going to heal, that feeling of emptiness inside you're going to have you know a soul tribe someone who understands you there's going to be a change within connections as well the end of a karmic um, karmic connection um even with family siblings there's going to be a healing happening there or at least a uh, end of a karmic energy between you and them okay and through that you can finally find peace you can finally heal okay let's pull one more card here we have Look at this. So we have everything going your way and a good person, a company to work for. So basically, this is about your connections. You're meeting the right connections, people that can help you, people who are going to support you um, throughout next year. Okay, so there's a lot of um, improvements coming when it comes to your home life, to your family. Um, I'm also seeing that someone that went away from you, um, it's like they went through a death and a rebirth. They had to experience hardship and now this person's going to come back and try to make amends with you they might try to come back into your life um and it's all happening it's pre it's being prepared now okay this energy is being prepared now so next year this person is going to reach out to you and you know ask you if they can be a part of your life again but for most of you it is you know just being able to move through this to find closure 
it's like you can finally find closure to whatever that has happened. It's the end of a certain energy in your life. So for some, end of feeling really lonely as this new tribe comes in. For others, it is being able to finally let go because there's no longer this karmic energy that's telling you, hey, you know, this person's going to do this to you. Now you've got to feel the pain and see the lessons behind it. You have learned the lessons. You have seen it. You have worked through your ego. You have worked through your pain, your sufferings. And so now you are able to finally close that chapter. You know, you can, um, it's like coming towards the end of grief. For a lot of you, it's end of grief. A lot of you have been grieving a loss of a connection, a friendship, a sibling, a parent. For others, it is um, now grieving the loss of a certain lifestyle because now you have all these beautiful souls coming in to find you. So whether you have lost someone or not, I do see new friendships coming in, your soul tribes coming in, new connections coming in to support you throughout next year, okay? And I see them coming little by little, bit by bit. You know, you will meet one person and then the next month there will be someone else and then there'll be another person coming in. Um, and and slowly, they'll, this connection will just come so strong, you know, and all of you will come together and become this one big group. So it's not like, oh, I have this friend here and I have that friend there. It's like all of you just get together and you become a tribe. And, you know, it becomes a, it becomes a, this energy where you hang out together. You know, if you want to go out, you call everyone. Everyone gets involved. So this person feels like they're from your home, from your hometown, you know, someone who's close to your heart, someone that you feel that you can just connect to easily, you know, where you don't have to be someone that you are not. Okay. Thank you for watching, Group 1. I hope this brings you some peace. I will speak to you in the next video. Hi group two, welcome group two. Let's look at the blessings coming into your life to help you through next year. We have a blessing on a battle that cannot be avoided. A blessing for good men and fathers. Okay, group two. So what I see here is that there is a connection to a divine masculine in your life. Okay. And there's been a fight within the family or within a friendship. There's been some sort of loss, some sort of, you know, um, being pulled away from each other, families breaking, friendships breaking. I feel like someone came in and, you know, caused the problem there. Um, whatever that has happened here, you know, I feel like 2022 brought in this fight, this battle here. For some of you, it's also a battle with a divine masculine in your life, you know, a fight there. Um, it's like you lost your friendship or connection to this person here. Okay, so what's coming in now is that this is changing. So here we have the truth. So it means that whatever that happened, whatever that caused this friction was because of a lie that was, um, you know, because of a lie. Okay, so basically someone lied about this, someone said something, lied about this person to you or lied about you to this person and caused a problem. There was just someone who was not very kind in this situation. Okay, and if you look at this here, we've got friendship. Just like group one as well, they had friendship that was about the soul connections. For you, it is about your connection here to the people around you. Okay, we have answers here and we have passion. Okay, so this kind of feels like, um, you know, I feel like someone came in between your connection. Okay, so someone came in between something that you want. For some of you, it is literally, you know, came between you and a partner, you and a best friend, you know, or for or you and your family. For others, it's someone who came between you and your goals, your desire, your something that you've been working towards, your career, you know, something that is yours. Someone came and try to take away what is yours and that was taken away from you. Okay, sorry about that. My my phone rang because the postman was here and I had to go downstairs and grab some parcels. So, okay, so where was I? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna jump back into um, what I'm seeing here again. Okay, so now, if you lost a passion, you know, between your connection here because someone came in between what you wanted, you know, between the, the the fire that connects you to this person or the fire that connects you to your goals, to your dreams. Someone came in between them, right? That fire is going to be, you know, it's like that fire is going to reignite again or basically if they try to put fire and burn away your connection, well, the water is going to come in and, you know, put out the fire. Okay, so basically the truth is going to come out. You're going to get a lot of answers. Now, there are a few things here. Okay, there are two messages. 
one if someone has been coming in between lying about you maybe it's a job your promotion you know lied about you to your boss then the truth's going to be revealed about that if someone's been lying you know pretending to be someone that they are not to come in between you and and someone else or if they lied about this person to you or about you to this person well the truth's going to come out okay so when the truth comes out you know this connection can be fixed this connection can be healed your dreams and desires can come back into your energy okay so what I see is that next year, you will finally have a beautiful connection towards this person or towards the thing that you have been trying to achieve in your life. Okay, so if it's the dream job, a promotion that's coming to you next year. If it is this connection that has been, you know, has been, um, you have been in the separation from this person, you know, a connection that has been severed, well, that's going to be fixed next year. So you will eventually have it again, you know, you will have that friendship here again, or you will have that connection, you will feel good about this thing again, okay? Now, and then for someone else here, there's another message. If you've been hearing about, you know, if you've been hearing about something, or someone's been pretending like they are, you know, having a life that they are not, well, you're going to see the truth, okay, you, the universe is going to give you all the answers, if you are wondering, like, is, you know, are they really doing this, are, is this person really good, or is this person bad, are they, you know, lying to me, whatever that you, you have been suspecting, but you haven't been sure, the universe is going to show you, okay, it's going to tell you the truth, you know, whether there is, there's any passion, in that connection that you are thinking about or there isn't okay whatever it is the truth is coming out and the truth will free you it will make you happy because i see here in the past you were heartbroken you've been heartbroken about something so this message that's going to come in is going to clear a lot of things and it's going to heal you it will heal you it will heal you know all the traumas that you've been experiencing you know your any inner child traumas and issues that literally brought this energy into your life, basically the energy of losing those that you love, losing things that you love, feeling abandoned, you know, abandonment issues. Those are the things that you have been, you know, struggling with and that's coming to an end, okay? So, let's see if there are any other messages for you. Okay, that jumped out. We have the magician. So take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success. You can do anything. So this just feels like there's magic, you know, coming into your life. You want something, you're going to get it. And no one can come between what you want anymore. Okay? I feel like there's like three parties involved here. Like there are three people involved. So someone's trying to come in between you and something that you want. You know, like I said earlier, it could also be whatever that's happening might be affecting a third person. So it's like... The universe is listening to your prayers, listening to everyone's prayers, and it's doing what is just and fair to clear this energy, to bring in, you know, justice. Okay, so all you, all you need to know is that justice will be served, and next year, things are going to be really good for you. Okay, so just keep, you know, standing up for yourself. Trust, you know, don't let anyone make you believe that you are not good enough, or, you know, um, let them, let the lies... Um, take life basically okay be assertive don't back down from what you believe in courageously stand up for yourself and i see that you have been doing that but a lot of you have been feeling like you know what it's not worth it it's just not worth it and i'm not going to i'm not going to fight so what i see here is that the universe is going to fight for you the universe is going to fight for you and i see people coming in to stand up for you and you know it's like Basically, the truth's going to come out. If someone's been saying really nasty things about you, maybe within your group of friends, then, um, you know, it's like your friends are going to know the truth about this person that's been making up lies, that's, that has been saying nasty things. So basically, the truth is coming out and I see someone coming back into your life, something coming back into your life. Okay. Any other messages here? No. There's a connection to a masculine energy. There's also um, a healing happening for a younger masculine energy as well. Um, yeah, I think that is it. I'm just trying to see because I feel like I want to pull one more card for you. But I'm just not feeling it yet. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull something from the love deck. Cupid's error. Have faith. Have faith, this meeting is going to happen where they are going to tell you everything. Or they, even if they don't tell you, you are going to hear about it. You're going to hear the truth. You're going to know what is happening. Okay, have faith. 
this this whatever that you love is coming to you and it's starting now it's like the bubbles bursting now and um, by next year this will come to you okay thank you for watching group two i hope this brings you some peace have a wonderful wonderful rest of the week i love you all i'll speak to you in the next video hi group three welcome so group three let's see what you need to know let's get some messages about the blessings coming to you to support you throughout 2023 we have a blessing on your health and a blessing on your sleep well i guess you're getting more sleep and that's <laughs> that's helping um this is interesting i think quite a few of you are in group three so um a few things I feel like there is you are tapping into a new health routine for for one one of you here okay or some of you here sorry um you're tapping into a new health routine so you might be eating healthy you know you're cutting down on your sugar you're cutting down on coffee you're going for walks you're going for jogs maybe you join the gym joining a dance class you're doing something and that is then going to improve your sleep it's going to improve your health you know you're going to feel it's like you feel energized when you need to feel energized and you know you you are able to shut off at night and sleep there's a lot of astral traveling for a lot of you and through your astral travels you're gaining a lot of um you're gaining a lot of experiences that's what i'm saying and also you are getting a lot of downloads as well so there are new gifts and things coming in that's going to bring in you know new beginnings because when you have new gifts new activations it's like you suddenly have this this need to do something bigger than yourself so i think that's why you are also um you know focusing on your health because you know that to do this work you've got to be in you know the best um shape in your in the best health you know, you've got to have the energy, you've got to have clean energy to do this work that you want to do, okay? For others here, it is literally meeting someone and you're going to improve your intimate life. So you're going to be very busy, you know, there's all these changes, hormonal changes happening. So you might be meeting um, or reconnecting with your loved ones, with not your loved ones, sorry, with your partner, <laughs> with your intimate partner. I'm trying to use proper words because I don't want to get banned from YouTube. There's certain words that, you know, would um, get you demonetized. So I'm trying my best to <laughs> use safe words <laughs> instead of like S-E-X and stuff. So um, yeah, so basically um, some of you are getting it basically. So, you know, you... So you are feeling satisfied and at night you're tired and you're like, yeah, I can sleep happy now. Okay, so let's get a few more cards here. We have healing. So, yep, you're healing any health issues. You're working through um, exhaustion, fatigue, anxiety. You're healing your nervous system as well. You're able to heal your anxiety. Um, and then here we have travel. So this is, like I said, the astral traveling. A lot of you are astral traveling. And for others, there's someone here that I think you're getting help. So maybe someone's coming to stay with you. There's someone traveling to you or you're traveling somewhere where you have family that can help you with something, you know, so you are able to get some help and support so that you can rest at night. You know, your main issues of shutting, down, shutting off at night, shutting down at night is hard because you have so much of um responsibilities that you've got to look after you know you've got a lot of things to do it's like you are like a one-man show you're doing everything and you are exhausted at the same time you are tired you know there's just so much going on you are healing you're trying to you know you're adulting and then you're doing everything it's just so much going on here so i feel like um you're gonna have support you know like maybe someone's planning to come stay with you a family's planning to come and stay with you so throughout next year this is going to happen quite a bit you will you will continuously have support and help coming in and because it's travel and it's not a move so it's like someone comes they help you they stay with you for a little bit they go and then someone else comes and every time you feel low you would you know hear that oh a friend's coming to visit someone's coming to visit someone's coming to stay so that's lovely there's a lot of movement there's a lot of going out it's more exercise your energy is no longer stagnant next year okay and then here we have the spirit guide here so it's like it's like um you're getting the guidance that you need okay your your guides are telling you or they're basically re you know they're aligning the parts to ensure that everything happens to help you to to work in your favor 
Okay, so whatever that's coming in, the connections that are coming in are all sacred connections, um, you know, sacred events, and even even the difficult ones are there for you. Okay, and overall here we have a new beginning. So there is a new door opening for you. There's a new energy here where it's just going to heal you and you're stepping out of the stagnant energy. There's going to be movement. Movement, you're going to feel like you're alive again. So a lot of you, it's like you disconnected from the matrix. You disconnected from the matrix. You went through this whole awakening. You went into the rabbit hole, you know, and now you're coming out of it and you're like, I get it. I get what it is. I, I understand things. I'm seeing things from a much higher consciousness. You have awakened to the 5D consciousness, some even beyond 5D. It's like you're understanding that you are trying to apply that into your life. And now you are taking this consciousness and you're coming back into the matrix. You're using what you you're using this awakened consciousness to manifest this beautiful reality within 3D matrix because we are within this matrix. Okay. So you know, at the end, we've got to exit through this matrix as well. So we can't be out of it forever. So for you to really benefit from this, you know, from this life and to do your best to serve your destiny, your purpose, you have to be part of the matrix because your purpose is to do something within there. But, you know, before that, we have to always step out to awaken, to, to shift our consciousness. So I see a lot of you coming back into the matrix and, but you're coming back with this new energy. You know, you're renewed, you are changed, you are... It's like you are so inspired to to be something different than what you were before. Taking back your power, feeling good. It's very positive. You know, everything that's happening for you here, it feels very positive. Um, you will be safe. You know, this is energy of feeling safe, secure. Um, yeah, this is a very, very beautiful thing to come in. And a lot of you that have been having health issues, even hormonal issues, you know, that's changing as well, okay? You're moving through any loss, you're healing your heart. Um, there's this sense of like loneliness or feeling lost. Well, you're not going to feel that anymore, okay? You're going to feel really good about yourself. Your psychic intuition is really strong as well, okay? Let's just use one last card here. Oh, no, actually, I want to use the fairy deck as well. But before that, let's see, we've got... You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is behind you now. I ask you to relax and feel safe. So there's this sense of security, of feeling safe, of, you know, not needing to be busy anymore. I feel like you've been like a busy bee the whole time. You know, it's like racing thoughts. And if I look at this, this somehow reminds me of a bee as well. So you're no longer going to be a busy bee. You can relax. You're going to get help. You're going to have people coming in to help you, to help you lighten the load. Um, Some of you may even want to just go travel. Maybe, you know, you're going to travel a lot so you're going to be sleeping in different places you know sleeping today you're going to get up in your home next day you're going to get up and you are somewhere else maybe you're in france and then you are in you know you're in asia you're in hotels you know you just you're you're getting up and i'm seeing for some reason i'm seeing the view of the eiffel tower so it's like you're getting up to the view of the eiffel tower or you're getting up to the view of um the sydney opera house perhaps you know so it's like you just getting up to different views and it's it's amazing it's beautiful look at that it's like a celebration you know you and you are going into this door and you're moving into a year of celebrations so this is beautiful some of you may be traveling because of um weddings or um graduations um looking to celebrate your birthday perhaps so there's a lot of travel and beautiful things and then here we have Resolution to difficulties, weight lifted off your shoulders, an end of an addiction <clears throat> or codependency. Okay, so there is a new beginning here, bringing in all good energy. Okay, good things. So congratulations. I love when you can have a good sleep and, you know, traveling and things like that. Okay, group three, I'm going to stop here. I hope this brings you some peace before the end of the year. I will speak to you again in the next video. Look out for your 2023 video um personal number video as well as your prediction for the for the whole year next year okay thank you for watching i'll speak to you in the next video